Much of Cecil Taylor's music sounds more like the music of Stockhausen and Zanakis than Ellington and Monk. Nevertheless, Taylor has had a significant effect on creative music since the 1950s. The sheer energy of his playing literally hypnotizes the listener. In this variation, I've used the melody of the theme in the way composers of atonal music use a 12-tone row. Fragments of the melody are repeated, decorated, and separated by free cadenzas. As a result, this entire variation consists of only one stretched out statement of the theme. Strangely, the melody seems to imply the key of G flat quite clearly, although there are no chords which make any conventional harmonic cadences. <laughs> 